In this session, let's look at uh, creating line charts in Tableau. So basically a line chart is nothing but we have different kinds of points and we are drawing some kind of connectivity. So there are, these are called as marks and uh, related marks are generally connected. So the main intention in any line chart is to understand the movement. Right, uh, from how the data is moving from one value to the other. So, I am basically trying to understand the relationship between the various connected marks. So, the position, so here two things. One, where the marks are lying, right, where the various marks are lying and how the line is connected there. That is what uh, is our communication from the data. And of course, just like in a bar, the length was a measure of communication. Here, we talk about the, the, the location of each of these points and the lines that are joining them. So that is what is the visualization that we are typically bringing out when we, whenever we talk about a line chart. So, of course, still I can differentiate them with size, thick line, thin line. I can differentiate them with colors, one for each of the product and more and more additional information can be communicated through this mechanism. Very common application of a line chart is generally with time series data. Right? Some kind of data that is having values which are moving over time. So, uh, though you can do it for almost every data, generally as a good practice, for a time series data, line charts are more and more appropriate. Which means, what is the time series? I need to have some date related dimension on either rows or in the columns. And corresponding to that date, I am I'm taking some measure. So, when I have these two, date on one dimension and the measure on the other, then I am able to plot a line chart. So, if we can try out for our uh, copy analysis itself, see how easy it is for us to create a line chart and how we can really derive better insights from that line chart as well. Okay. So, let me uh, look at one more chart here. Right. I will rename it to line chart, which is talking about, uh, I'll, in this line chart, what I will do is, I will do the profitability, profitability analysis over time. Right, year wise analysis, month wise analysis, I can still do them. That is what uh, the line chart is very much good at. Okay, here simple again profit. I am bringing them, let's say, onto the rows. So, one single vertical bar talking about the total profit. Now, I want to convert it into a time series. If it, if it has to be time series, then time related entity, which is a date related stuff should be there. So, what I simply do, there is a date field for me, right? It is having a type also as a date. So, what I will do is this date field, I will drag it onto the column. Oh, for 2012 and 13, right? There are two dates. And if you look at it, when I dragged it from here, it has used its own intelligence. Right? Though it's a date, here Tableau has used again its own intelligence and brought the year and brought the year out of the date. So there are two years, 2012 and 30, which it has represented. Right? So once I have dragged the date, by default, it has converted it into a year. So, there is again, it has, has it is having a built-in hierarchy for the date. Now, instead of year, 
let's say I want to do a month wise analysis right because here by default it has given me year of date now you can very well break it so the year go if I click on this you see here there is a plus sign here I click on it now it's a quarter wise analysis for each year now suddenly it is showing that this is now some more insight is coming you look at it you just click on this plus sign from the year things got broken quarter wise so Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 the pattern is showing that in Q3 things are much higher profits are much higher whereas in Q4 they are lesser in 2012 the same logic went in 2013 right 2013 also Q3 seems to be the most profitable quarter whereas uh, Q1 and Q4 end up on the lower side another insight now just click on this quarter once again you get a month wise within the quarter you are getting a month wise kind of an analysis right you look at the patterns now each month wise probably Q4 looks more like V here also it's a V here also it's a V so in Q4 it's like probably uh, November is looking like the lowest October and uh, December are more or less the same so that is what has repeated both in 2012 and 13 and on the other side you look at Q3 it's a falling here also it was a falling so pattern is more or less the same Q2 okay here it showed some kind of an increasing pattern within Q2 whereas it was slightly decreasing but still this month is still always on the rise so you can draw some kind of insights so you are digging it down and down and down probably you click on the month again you will get uh, you will get into the uh, within the month you are uh, getting the days which may or may not be a useful stuff but you can very well break it down that's one kind of a summary that you can bring up now let me aggregate everything the other way is now let's say no I don't want it like that breakup I want it purely only the month wise then I can right click on it and instead of selecting the year I can simply select month then it gives me in general across the years it summarizes by month right across the years it is giving me by month so January, February up to December. So probably this is telling me July is the time period where my sales are at the peak. Probably a couple of months where my sales are always down. So the moment I am changing, there are lots and lots of insights that are coming from the data. And similarly, If I want to break it down here one more there are two kinds of months here this is like a month wise analysis across all the years summed up right uh, so probably uh, okay I don't want the date so this is a month wise analysis across all the years summed up but otherwise if I select this month this is more like if you see the representation it is showing the month and the year whereas here it is showing only the month so if I select this month it gives me right from the first year till the last so month wise Jan, Feb, March, June, September, December for each of the months up to December so it's not aggregating uh, across all the years it is showing separately for each of the months so this is what is the pattern right from December or Jan 2012 to December 2030. So it, now it is giving like a, a time series very clearly giving the profitability for each month. 
So I can very well draw more and more insights. Now suddenly just by dragging one day, I got a month wise, uh, sorry year wise, within the year, quarter wise, within the quarter, month wise or directly month wise like this. So I can create n number of charts with a simple drag and drop and get much more better insights and pictures into my data. Similarly, okay, I got the overall profitability over time. Fine. Now, can I look at market wise, product wise? Okay, let's look at market wise, right? Over time, what has happened market wise? So, simply what I can do, the market, I'll drag it into the color. I want a differentiation by market. Okay, now I got four graphs. Now I got four graphs, probably the green is showing the profitability in the south market. So south market has always been less profitable market, whereas uh, the blue one, the central market has always been a high profit market. So I am getting some kind of much more insights into it because I am getting a different line for each of the market. So, and that different line is with a different color and I have a legend which shows which market means what. Right? But, here they are not coming out like uh, stacked. Whereas in our bars they were more and more stacked. Here they are, here there are separate lines for each. Okay, now let's say I got the inside market wise. Now let me see product wise. Right, the product type, if I drag it into the color, oh, there's a lot of overlap. Probably, coffee has been my profitable product in almost all the months. But in some months, it has been dominated by espresso. Espresso is having, was having a profitability in October 2013, the highest profitability. And probably uh, it is all, it all, so in October, now look at the, some more insight. October 2012, as well as October 2013, the profitability of espresso is higher compared to coffee. So is there some kind of relationship? Right? It has something to do with October. Has espresso has something to do with October? Now, that gives me something to think and that is what we have to really master it when we are starting our visualization. Right? Look at this here. This is the point where probably espresso and coffee more or less are at the same. February 2013 and February 2012 also looks more or less identical. So, what could be the relation? Now, these are some of the drivers for us for analysis, right? Here also we are seeing that during this time frame, coffee is having an undominatable profits. Whereas uh, I could see that tea has generated the least profit across. So what you could clearly see is easy comparisons can come out, more and more insights can come out the moment we are able to plot the right chart. Now, so we have uh, dragged the market. So we got market wise analysis. And if I is our, we have dragged the product type, we got product type wise analysis. Now, or I can let's say I want to drag product. Oh, so much of confusing. Right, so much of overlappings. So when I drag the product, I'm getting so much of uh, probably this is the dominatable leader. Very clear. What is this? This is the Colombian coffee. So the Colombian is like uh, the leader, which is which has been contributing the highest of all these profits, and uh, it it is nowhere in comparison with the others. So, my product, what is my most profitable product? Very straightforward. All seasons, Colombian is my prof product which is highly profitable. 
and now in this okay these are all the colors so many colors that you have got but now i can enable the highlighting on the color legend this is the color legend edit icon so i can highlight only the ones which i really wanted to see so if i am clicking on this only this one i can see in comparison with others now if i click on colombian only this one would be seen all others will be grayed out so in this way i could uh, i could clearly uh, see uh, one is highlighted and uh, it's like i have singled out one item and i should be able to compare it with the other item especially when there is a lot of uh, clutter like this probably i can select one of the items and try to single out and try to compare it with the others so that's one more way we can where we can try to differentiate especially if there are so many overlappings that are existing with my data and now this product instead of uh, here if i say if i drag it into the rows right instead of uh, here if i drag it here now it is giving me the profitability product wise product wise profitability is coming out okay probably may um, so this graph i am not able to interpret anything from it right it is uh, showing across time right higher or lower profits which is not giving me any kind of a good picture so sometimes it may be a worth thing to do a specific graph sometimes uh, it may not make any kind of a meaning so what we really need to understand is what is the best way to present because at the end tableau can help me doing the presentations of uh, charts however is the way i am dragging the data but some of them are more meaningful some of them are not now when i am dragging this uh, product back it is coming back to my original data and uh, my first sheet that i have plotted month wise analysis of the profits right uh, over the 2 year period so you can do any kind of experimentation dragging the things from one space to the other but what you could see is you really don't need to spend much time in terms of the in terms of uh, plotting the graph you can spend more and more time in drawing insights and conclusions from the graph and that is what uh, is the speciality of uh, tableau that is where it is mastering towards all right so thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session thank you very much